like that it looks so beautiful like that and when I put it on me I'm so dark so it's been raining and um, I'm gonna try and stay under the roof so that I don't get rained on which means I don't have quite as good of lighting I'm gonna walk down here and see if it's any better um, let's see okay that's a little better so today I want to talk about corners and I think it's interesting that corners kind of have a bad rep. Corners have become this sort of thing that we identify as being bad. So when I think about what people say about corners, we, we put our kids in time out, they go to the corner. So when you've done something wrong, you go to the corner. We talk about painting ourselves into a corner. And I mean, really, those are the only kinds of uses of the word corner that I can think of. Okay, it's not raining right now, so I'm just gonna walk out. Um, they're all bad. <laughs> and I just kind of feel like corners maybe have gotten a bad rep, right? We think that somehow corners are this terrible thing. But the really cool thing about corners is that all you have to do is turn around and everything opens up to you. So yes, when you get into a corner, you have to stop. But as soon as you spin around, you'll find that suddenly you still have all the options in the world. And so, for those of you who maybe find yourself stuck in a corner, like I have recently, I wanna remind you that just because you get yourself in a corner doesn't mean, or maybe you get put in a corner, doesn't mean that you're stuck and that you have no options. It just means you have to rethink the possibilities. Turn around, look around you, figure out what options are still there, and double down on those. It's kind of like we talk about a dead end. It's the same situation. If you end up in a dead end, if you're in a maze and you end up in a dead end, you can stand there with that wall in your face and just stare at the wall, which is what we make our children do and why we put them in, in a corner, right? Because you're basically forcing them to just stare at nothing. There's no options, nothing that they can do. And you know what kids do? They spin around and they look out from the corner and then the parents yell at them turn back around and then they have to look at the corner again it's the same thing with the dead end you can stand there in that maze and that dead end and just stare at the dead end being upset that it came being upset that you got stopped or you can turn around go back the other way and figure out the next step so today i want to encourage you that there is a next step no matter what's happened no matter what you're afraid of or what you think is stopping you there is a next step you just have to turn around and find it. I would love to know what yours is. I would love to know what you need help with. Um, but today I want to encourage you that you're not, nothing can stop you except for you. And the way you stop yourself is by standing there and staring at that corner or staring at that dead end and refusing to turn around. You can sit in self pity or you can move forward. And it makes me think of the illustration. I'm sure you guys have seen it. There's this illustration where it's like what I thought it meant to be a business owner. And there's like a dot and a line. It's like perfectly straight. And then the second part of the illustration is what it's actually like. And there's a dot and then it's like all this squiggly junk. And then it finally gets to the other point. And I would like to suggest that the reason it's like that is because you're going along, you hit a dead end, you have no choice but to turn. You're going along, you hit a dead end, you have no choice but to turn. Going along, you hit a dead end, you have no choice but to turn. And I think that is what happens over and over and over again to us as business owners. We keep running into dead ends in that maze, trying to get to the end, and then we have to turn around and go a different way. So that is really all I have to say today, guys. I want you to embrace your corners. Because when you find those dead ends and those corners, it means you found one way that doesn't work, which means you have fewer ways to go through to find what does work. So embrace those. Be glad. It means that you were moving in a direction. Now you have to go in a different direction, but it means you know that direction isn't the right one for you. So embrace your corners, embrace your dead ends. I'm just so glad we get to live our dreams together every single day even on the days when they don't feel as much like dreams. Just love you guys to bits. I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye.